Or early this morning, more than a thousand people gathered at the Columbus Convention and Trade Center for the 39th annual Black History Month Observance Breakfast. Our team coverage this morning begins with WRBL's Hannah James. She joins us now. Hannah? Phil, Teresa, the theme of this morning, looking back and looking forward. Attendees listen to keynote speaker, House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries, the first African-American to lead one of the major House caucuses. Congressman Jeffries highlighted the importance of recalling history to create a resilient future. Representative Jeffries... Proceeds for the event are distributed to several organizations that support underserved populations and preserve the cultural history of African Americans across the tri communities. Some of this year's recipients include Girls Inc., The Plumber Home, and the Tree of Black Health Care. In addition, recipients are selected annually for the Legacy of Leadership Award. Two of 2024's recipients, Phoenix City Mayor Eddie Lowe and Columbus Mayor Skip Henderson. It's one of those things I think it's, it's really undeserved by any one person. It's a uh, and I believe Eddie will tell you the same thing. It really identifies the fact that there's so many good people in this region that are all working for the right things for the right reasons. Sometimes as mayor, you just get to take a bow for other people's really hard work. And I was totally surprised and shocked. But as uh, Mayor Henderson said, we realize in this role, it's not about us. It's all about what we do for the people. And, and I always say this, and this won't be the last time you hear it, but we both understand that the quickest way to build up any community is to build the people up. And you do that with a pure heart, not looking for anything in return, because that's what true leadership is. You're thinking more about others than you do yourself. And I can speak on his behalf, that that's the way we always try to carry ourselves. Two additional recipients were selected, Miles and Ann Caggins. To learn more about each recipient and hear the entire keynote speech, head to this store on our website, and it's WRBL.com. Well, Chuck, to the more than 1,000 people listening, Congressman Jeffries brought a view of someone who is deeply connected in Washington, D.C. He certainly did, Hannah. Leader Jeffries got into Columbus late last night traveling from Germany. He attended the Munich Security Conference. There he was part of a bipartisan group of legislators that met with Ukrainian President President Volodymyr Zelensky. During his speech, Jeffries focused on black history, good and bad. He says throughout American history, black progress has been followed by a period of backlash. He says we are currently in one of those backlash periods following the 2008 election of the first black president, Barack Obama. Jeffries represents New York's eighth congressional district. That includes Brooklyn. After his speech, I asked Jeffries what the people of Brooklyn have in common with the folks here in Columbus. Listen to what he had to say. When you travel throughout the world, as we recently did to the Munich Security Conference, we are the envy of the world uh, because of who we are and our diverse experiences. But there are common things that do connect us, values that are important to the people of Brooklyn, New York, equally important to the people of Columbus, Georgia, the value of hard work, the value of family, the value of faith, uh, and the value of these great uh, American principles like liberty and justice for all, equal protection under the law, free and fair elections, and government of the people, by the people, and for the people. That's what we share in common uh, between Brooklyn and the Tri-Cities, the people of Columbus, that's what binds the American people together. That's why I'm confident that even though we are in this turbulent moment, that in America, the best is yet to come. Theresa Field, during that media gaggle, Jeffries reiterated his support for funding the war effort in Ukraine and his contempt for Russian President Putin. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Chuck and Hannah, for that team coverage.